Hello and welcome to part two of how to create a chandelier in UMIC tutorial. This is just a quick little set of tutorials to show you how you can quickly make something that looks like a chandelier and it looks pretty nice. So in uh, the first part, we created the center part of the chandelier, a little metallic spiral and this nice extrusion. Now we're going to add a lamp and we're going to do an array on this and you'll have a pretty cool looking chandelier. So uh, let's go back to the side view here. I'm going to draw one more curve. I'll do something like this. And I can edit this as well. And then I will create a revolved surface, except this time I'm going to actually drag the axis out. I like that. And once I'm done, I'll tap the green check mark. I'm going to double tap this surface and change its color and kind of make it more of a white color or kind of yellowish. There we go. And now we have the uh, light part of the chandelier. That looks pretty nice. And this is where the candles would go or where the, uh, the light bulbs would go. I'll move this over just a little bit to kind of center it over this tube that's coming up. And once we have that light created, we can actually take and select this extrusion and the spiral part I actually want to move the spiral down, see if I can kind of make this look a little better. See if I scale it up a little bit, if that'll... Yeah, that looks better. There we go. And from there, I'm going to select all of the components that I used on the side. The only thing I don't want to select is the center column or the curve for that. And once I have those selected, I'll go to the top view. And then I'm going to come over and I'm going to tap Array. And you'll see I have a polar array that's generated. Now, this is not in the right spot. If I, if I go down, you'll see this kind of looks like a little bit of a mess. But if I go back to the top view, I can grab this little tiny green circle in the middle of this. And I'm just going to drag this over and it'll snap in the middle. And I have five uh, branches. I'm going to make that actually six. I think that'll look better. But you can go up even more if you want, like nine, for example. And there is a nice array. Now you can adjust that. I actually think nine looks good there. So I'm going to tap the green check mark. And just like that, in a couple of steps, using some pretty simple functions in UMIC, you have a nice, kind of nice looking chandelier. And you can use this uh, for like, if you're doing an architectural model or if you're just kind of exploring something. Basically the purpose of these tutorials was to show you a little bit of extrude, a little bit of the revolved surface and the array tool. So if you have any comments, questions or feedback for us, definitely let us know. Uh, hopefully we'll see what you make as a chandelier or something like that. Uh, definitely share it with us. And um, yeah, that's it. We'd love to hear from you. So have a great day, guys. Take care. Hope you like this. Bye-bye.